Hi everyone! So a ton of you love my bow ring and charm design so I decided why not make it into a bracelet. So today I'll be showing you how to make this really awesome and cute bow bracelet. So this bracelet you do not have to use the white border that goes through the entire thing but I think it adds a really nice frame for this bracelet. I'll explain later how you can switch up the border if you don't want it there or if you do want it there. Um, but anyways, yeah. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you are already loving this bracelet. And by the way, the bands I used in this tutorial are all from RainbowLoom.com, including the ones on this bracelet. But I'll be making this one in the tutorial. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom. Today I'll be using a rainbow loom. You'll also need a hook. I'm using a rainbow loom metal tipped hook. And you'll also need, I'm not too sure how many bands. I will try to put it right here um, or somewhere like that. But I'll put it somewhere on the screen or in the description box below. But anyways, you will need as many different colors as you'd like. I recommend using three different colors. Um, two for the bows and then one for the kind of perimeter around the outside. For the perimeter I'll be using the uh, white glitter and for the two bows I'll be using silver and gold. All my supplies, oh wait, you'll also need a C-clip. All my supplies today are from rainbowloom.com. These are their new silicone bands so you'll be able to find those there as well. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So first off we're going to start with our looms arrows pointing down. And you're going to start by taking whatever color you're using for the outline, which on this bracelet is white, so I'll be using glitter white for this. And you're going to go outwards here, and then outwards again right here. Just like that. And then we're now going to get started on the first bow, so for this I'll be using silver. And you're going to go vertically on both sides of your loom first. Like that then go inwards on both sides then go outwards on both sides like that sorry that's my chair squeaking by the way then close off the bow right here both sides like that so you should have something like this now then you're going to take a double of whatever bands you want to be the accent color in the center and you're going to double loop it on this bottom pin that you see right here like that and now we're going to go ahead do the other half of the bow so you're going to go outwards and then vertically Then you're going to make an X in the center, and make the bottom half of the X now, just like that. So you should have something like this now, and we're now going to take the same border color again, and you're going to go vertically on both sides, like that. Scoot down your loom and we're going to go ahead and make our bow that goes in the center. So go vertically on both sides, then go diagonally on the inside, make the X here in the center like that, then you're going to go close off this part right here. So you should have something like this now. Then you're going to take double of the silver bands and double loop that in the middle to make a cap band right there. Then we're going to go ahead and make the other half of the bow. After that you're going to go vertically and then vertically again then you're going to go inwards here making the X here just like that so you should have something like this now and now we are going to go vertically on both sides 
using our border color. And then we're going to make our last bow right here. So I'll be using silver again. We're going to go vertically on both sides. Then go diagonally on the inside, making the little X inside. Just like that. Then close off the bow. Like that. Sorry, I think I've got like marker on my hand. And now we're going to take a double of whatever color you want to be the inner band and double loop that on this pin right here. And then finish off with the other half of the bow. Go vertically on each side. Make an X here. Just like that. So like I said in the intro, the border around the entire thing is optional. However, I kind of like the look better with the white border that goes all the way around. However, you can leave that part out and just add cap bands here and then hook all the way down to the end of your loom and have a bracelet without the border. Um, so uh, anyways, if you do want the border, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. It's a super easy. So for the border, we're going to start at the very top of our loom and you're going to take whatever color border bands that you're using and you're going to go diagonally on those two and then you're going to go vertically all the way down to the very end of your loom. So I'm not going to go super slow on this part just because you're only taking single bands and going vertically only on the left and right pin bars. So this isn't super complicated. So I'm not going to be super slow. So at the end of your loom, you are going to go vertically again still on both pin bars like this. So vertically on both sides here. Then you're going to take another band and go inwards here and inwards again here. So the end of your loom should look like this. Then you're going to take a single band as a cap band, wrap it around this pin in the center here twice, just like that. So just a quick run through of what your loom should look like. Just like that. And so if your loom looks like that, then we're going to go ahead and start the hooking process. So if you do have a border on your bracelet, you're going to go ahead and hook that first. So go inside the cap band, grab this band here, hook that over to the right, and my cap band just fell off so no big you just go ahead and place that back on then go ahead hook the other side and hooking the border is super easy you just gotta hook vertically all the way down to the end of your loom so I'm not gonna be super slow on this part again because it's not very complicated you're just hooking vertically the entire time so grabbing only the border bands which for me are my uh, white glitter bands If your bands happen to slip off like that, just roll them back onto the pin.
Okay, so when you get to the end of your loom, you're going to go ahead and hook these bands inward as well. Like that. So your loom should look like this now. Oh goodness, I can't push my bands down that way. But I'm just going to go ahead and push everything down a little bit since my bands are sitting a little bit high up on my pins right now. So anyways, now we're going to start the hooking process of the bows. So you're going to go inside the left side first, grab this band that goes diagonally and hook that inwards. Let me zoom in just a little bit for you guys so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. Go inside this side and hook this band inwards as well. Then we're going to go inside this intersection here and hook the two bands going outwards. Like that. Now we can't forget about these vertical bands here, so go back and hook these bands vertically. Just like that. Then we're going to go inside here and hook the bands inwards. Same thing on the right side, hook this band inwards like that. So now we've got to deal with the cap band right here. This part is a little bit difficult, so I'm going to turn my loom sideways so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But you're going to go in with your hook, go inside this way, make sure you're not going inside of the pins or anything. Grab a couple layers of this band that's wrapped around, then pull that over the pin and release. So do that again and again until you've got all those bands pulled up and over. And the last one's always the hardest to grab. So pull that last one over. So you should have something like this now. Then we're going to continue with the hooking, pro hooking process as normal. Completely ignore this gold band right here. So just push it out of the way and grab the next band that you're going to be hooking. Like that. So, then continue and hook this band goes inwards, then hook the other side, like that, then go inside the uh, intersection here and hook this band outwards, and then you're going to hook the next band outwards right there, like that. Then we're going to hook the two vertical bands on the left and right sides. So then go inside the right pin as well and hook that vertically. So we now finished the first hooking process of the first bow. So now we're going to go inside this pin and grab the vertical band here and hook that vertically. Same thing on the right side, it should be a border colored band. Just like that. And now we're going to do the same exact hooking process for this next bow. So go inside, inside, hook that inwards, then hook this inwards as well like that. Then go inside the intersection, hook this band over to the right inside hook this band over to the left like that then you're going to hook these next bands vertically and then you're going to hook the next bands inwards like that now we got to deal with the cap band here so you're going to turn your loom to the side and go in it with your hook, push these bands right here out of the way, and then grab as many links as you can and pull those over the pin and release like that. So go back in and grab the next loop over and release. And you're going to continue that process till you grab all of your loops that go for the band in the center. And now we're going to go ahead and continue our hooking process. Grab too many bands there. Hook that over. Hook 
that over as well. Then we're going to go in and hook these next bands that go inwards. Just like that. Then go in the intersection and hook the bands that go outwards. Like that. And then lastly, these bands that go vertically. Just like that. So we just finished the second bow. And you should have something like this. And go up here. We're going to hook these last border bands here that go vertically. And then we're going to go ahead and hook this last bow right here. So go inside, hook this inwards. Inside and hook this one inwards. Just like that. And go inside here. Grab this band, hook outwards, inside, grab the next band and hook that outwards as well. Then we're going to hook these bands that go vertically. And then go in here and hook these next bands inwards. Just like that. So you should have something like this now. Now we got to work with the cap band here, so turning my loom again. So to pull over the bands, gonna go and grab these, pull over, grab these, and just continue. Got one more here, get that silver band off. There we go. So after that, you should have something like this, and go ahead and continue hooking the last segment of the bow. Outwards. Then hook these next bands inwards, like that. Then you're going to hook the next bands outwards. like that. Then you're going to go ahead, hook these bands vertically here on the side. Oops. And then the last two border bands inwards. Okay, so we are finally done with the hooking process. When you're finished, your loom should look something like this. And if so, we're going to go ahead and add one link to the end of this. Just take whatever color you use for your border, go inside all of the bands on this top pin, grab this band here, and then add the link on your hand to the hook. So you've got this link here holding onto all the bands. Then you can go ahead, slide this a little bit up onto your hook, and then go ahead and remove everything off of your loom. Okay, so this is what my bracelet looks like now. And of course this isn't big enough to go around my wrist, so I'm gonna have to make an extension. So for this bracelet, I need about eight links, but it varies upon your wrist size. So anyways, I'm just gonna start with my looms arrows pointing down. Making an extension isn't hard. You can make whatever kind of extension you'd like. However, today I'm just gonna use a simple single chain one. So I'm just making eight vertical links. just like that. So I started with my looms arrows pointing down and I put on bands starting at the top going down to the bottom. I've got a total of eight links here. Then I'm just going to grab whatever's on my hook and place that onto the pin that has the last band attached to it like that. Then I'm just going to hook vertically and I'm not going to go super slow like I did earlier, like I said earlier because this is just a regular single chain, which is the most basic and easy bracelet. Just like that. So when you're finished, you should have something like this. This is just a regular single chain. I'm gonna grab my C-clip, 
grab all the bands on here. Make sure they're all on my C-clip. And then I can pull all of this off of my loom. I'm gonna go ahead and attach both ends of my bracelet together. Just gonna go ahead and find the cap band. Like that. And now I am finished. So that is it. I really hope you guys like this design. I know a ton of you love my bow ring design and bow charm design, so I decided why not put it on a bracelet. So anyways, once again, these bands right here are the new Persian bands from RainbowLoom.com. They are awesome, aren't they? So I really hope you like this design. Like I said earlier, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out. And also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And find me on all my social media sites linked down in the description box below. Just a little note for the extension on this one. I actually changed it to six bands because eight was too big. I don't know why I used more than that on this one, but... Anyways, um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, and I will see you guys later. Bye!